If you're in need of inspiration about what to wear and you want to look polished and chic and sophisticated, Black and White Ladies is the way to go. And I've selected six key pieces, a sort of capsule collection for you, just to make your life easier. So stay tuned to find out more. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel, the channel for ladies over 50 who want to look and feel fabulous. And a special warm welcome if you're new here. I'm really excited about this video, ladies. Black and white and variations on black and white too is a timeless and stylish look that will take you anywhere and you know you'll look good. I'm sharing six key pieces to create a capsule collection for go-to looks. And you may already have them in your wardrobe. I'm styling up outfits using these six key pieces and I've got lots of other lovely little items that you'll love. So just before we jump in, if you want to really jumpstart your quest to look and feel fabulous after 50, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel as it really helps to keep the channel going. I share weekly inspiration and fresh ideas to show you exactly how to look amazing and it's free. Black and white outfits always look classy and sophisticated. They're so eternally chic. There's something about the combination of black and white that is simple, minimalistic, but really ladylike at the same time. But just because it's simple, it doesn't mean that it's boring, far from it. And there are so many different ways to style black and white combinations. You can create so many different looks according to whatever style that you love. And you can adapt the combination to whatever you feel comfortable. And also, I'm not just talking about pure black and pure white. White in particular can be adapted to other tones of white, such as cream, off-white, ivory, and even buttermilk. Sometimes these tones can be softer for our skin and our hair colour. You can always swap out black too for navy if you prefer. It's just as chic and classic and it creates the same looks. You'll see more of this later. So let's kick off with my six key items for your black and white capsule collection. The number one key piece is a black and white dress. A black and white dress or a black or a white dress is a staple item. It's the sort of thing you can go to your wardrobe when you don't know what to wear and you have a dress. It's a fabulous option. The whole outfit is just done for you. Particularly as we move into the summer months, a black and white dress is so gorgeous and so chic. And most black and white printed dresses can camouflage your belly and any problem little bits and pieces on your body as well, as you can see. So they're a really good option. Or if you didn't want to print particularly, um, you could go for the polka dots, which uh, you can see here. It's a print, but it's not too busy on the body. Or a plain, a shift dress with some real neck detail, which is just fabulous for disguising the stomach and really striking at the same time. Now for plus sizes, uh, black and white dresses can be a brilliant choice as they totally confuse the eye and disguise any lumps and bumps that you might have. But let's have a look at my first outfit to demonstrate this key piece. Outfit one. Now here I am styling up um, more of a casual sundress look. Um, it's in preparation for our holidays. Um, this is Pretty Little Thing black and white sundress. It's called Monochrome Zebra. Now due to its vertical lines, I think it's rather cleverly fairly slimming and it's a good long length as well. Now I've styled it here with these black strappy heels from Mango. Very economically priced, they're about £35 and I love them because they've got a good solid heel. I don't feel I'm going to get caught up in any cracks and crevices when I'm walking around. Other strappy heels are very similar, these ones from H&M, they're lovely, and from Nordstrom, these Mark Fishers, beautiful. And they're not too high and they've also got a good solid heel. Now I'll talk more about black strappy heels in just a moment, but you can see also here I've just popped on um, a black blazer just to give it a little bit more structure as well. Now for jewellery, as the dress is quite a strong design, I've chosen a simple gold necklace. This one is from Ana Luisa, so pretty, it's quite delicate as well, and a simple bracelet so that it doesn't conflict with the whole design. However, if you're wearing one colour or a simple sheath dress, you could make more of a statement with stronger jewellery, depending on the occasion, of course. Now, I've also found some other lovely dresses that you might like to have a look at. This one here from Karen Millen. This is called a twist knot midi dress. It's very attractive, really um, striking looking dress. You'd certainly be the centre of attention in this, as you would be in this one. Now, this is also Karen Millen, a ruched wrap mini dress. Now, if you're bold enough for a mini dress, I don't think it's particularly mini, but it's certainly above the, um, the knees. Oh, this 
one which I also really love. This is called a Stallion Wrap Dress from Karen Millen. Really striking, particularly if you love horses. Um, and of course, Karen Millen has got 20% off site-wide at the moment. And then going back to another one here, Pretty Little Thing, as going back to the zebra print again. This has got a tie waist. It's a mid-axi dress. So for us short ladies, it's going to be more of a maxi. Um, but the same vertical lines, which is really flattering. Now, if you want an elegant all white dress, just look at this beautiful dress from White House Black Market, my one of my new favourite go-to brands. This is fabulous, it's timeless, I just adore this. Flutter sleeve, pretty, delicate, um, v-neck sheath dress, so flattering and it's available in classic or petite. So my second key piece is a pair of black strappy sandals. We saw this in outfit one. I do think that a classic pair of black sandals, whether it's heeled or just with a very low heel, whatever you prefer, really sets off black and white outfits. I've chosen a pair of black strappy heels as part of my six selected capsule pieces because they're really versatile and the fact that they set off any outfit perfectly. These ones from Mango, you can see, are the ones that I chose. I love them because I feel they solid heel and I feel reassured in them. But if you wanted something daintier, um, I've got you these ones also from Nordstrom, um, but less than $100, but they're beautiful, not high at all. Or these ones from Calvin Klein, same price, and you know, you feel like you're making a real investment with something like this. Very low heel and really easy to walk in. My third key piece for your black and white collection is a satin look slip skirt. A slip skirt in either black or white I think is a really glamorous addition to your wardrobe absolutely fabulous and very feminine. Of course, any black or white skirt is always a good addition to your wardrobe, such as this one perhaps, but I really do think that the satin look or silk slip skirt just looks a cut above in terms of glamour um, and fabulousness, don't you? And it doesn't have to be expensive either, as you can see in my second outfit. Even my cat Chanel has gone the black and white route for moving into summer. <laughs> Okay, I'm now covered in white fur, which is lovely. Okay, you can see this outfit I've got here. This particular ivory coloured skirt is from River Island. Only $56 and it's a gorgeous off-white shade. Now they call it stone. Now, as I said, you can choose any variations on white and shades around it. Um, but this I think is absolutely beautiful. US, UK and international, of course. Now, I really love wearing it. It flows so beautifully. It just feels so light. Um, and I feel a bit princess-like in it. Um, Lily Silk also does a particularly gorgeous one. This is a little bit more uh, costly, of course, because this is silk, um, but I think it's around uh, $100, um, but it's particularly beautiful. They call it um, Lily White. Again, it's a sort of an ivory shade. Now, what I've done here is I've teamed the, the skirt with the same black sandals, the other key piece, and I've just popped a little lacy, a little white lacy cami from Bowden underneath it here. And I just think it adds a bit of interest to have a little bit of a lacy top to the top. Of course, you could go all out for a beautiful lacy cami top, such as this one from Revolve. Stunning. Um, and to even add more pizzazz, um, I've added my black blazer from Shop Bop. Um, this is the one I was wearing um, over the dress as well. This is the Lioness Palermo blazer with gold buttons. It's a beautiful, beautiful piece, and it's a Balmain lookalike. Okay, my fourth key piece is ivory jeans or trousers. Now I've included um, white or ivory jeans or trousers in my little capsule collection of black and white because they're such a staple item, particularly moving into summer. I know that I live in both all summer, uh, particularly white denim as we go into the warmer months. They're just so easy in the morning. You grab them with either a black top or a colored top and you're good to go. So here I'm styling up a pair of ivory trousers in my outfit three. Now, for this outfit, of course, you could equally, equally wear um, white jeans or white trousers, whatever you feel most comfortable with. Um, but I'm wearing the same top here in this outfit as I'm wearing actually here. Um, but it's really beautiful, very easy to wear, a round neck, but I've added some pearls to lift and lighten the face. Because if you have too much black next to the face, it may drain it if you're not careful. So I've added a bit of light. Now, in the outfit, you can see I'm wearing these beautiful tailored 
um, trousers, ivory trousers from Karen Millen. They are really beautiful, fit perfectly, um, slightly wide leg, but not too much. I have actually got a wide leg ivory trouser option here as well for you, which I think looks so, so elegant. And if you prefer jeans, of course, I've got two of them here. Um, these white crop jeans, also from Karen Millen. I just adore these. Um, and I've got some other white jeans options for you here. White House Black Market, of course. As they started with white and black clothes, they are absolutely perfect for anything in black and white. These comfort stretch cropped white jeans I love. And also, now these are really flattering. These high-rise skinny flare white jeans, probably the most flattering shape for us ladies, is where it fits at the top and then it gently flares at the bottom. So go and have a look at those. And as you can see, I've selected the same black strappy sandals here from Mango. And just to ring the changes slightly and to lift the face again, I've added a very light um, chiffon um, black and white scarf, which I think adds interest to the neck and it, it takes away the draining from the face with the black. Which of course leads me onto my fifth key piece, which is black and white tops. We're gonna need those. Now, obviously you're gonna need them uh, to go with your trousers and so on. So um, I found some lovely options for you. Now, the one that is most similar to mine is this really beautiful one, um, which I found here. And also this one uh, from Saks, which is really lovely. It's the ruched V-neck cotton blouse. I really adore that, beautiful. Um, now, if you wanted something that was slightly more patterned, I think this one could well be in my cart. Again, this is River Island, but it's a marble wrap bodysuit. It's a little bit low down here, which is, um, but I just think it's absolutely beautiful. Um, now, you've got this one, White House Black Market, I went back to again for um, uh, inspiration here. This white mixed lace blouse, I just love it. Really beautiful. It's a little bit bohemian, isn't it? Um, and if you wanted something else really lovely as well, fresh looking, there's this white tie-waisted poplin shirt. Really fresh, flattering, um, and I just think perfect for moving into the summer. My sixth quite difficult to say, key piece is a jacket. I always think a jacket makes an outfit. It turns some clothes into something stylish, into a proper outfit. It doesn't have to be a jacket, of course. It could be a cardigan. It does the same thing. It's just adding structure with your third piece. You've seen my black uh, shop bot blazer with the gold buttons in one of my earlier outfits, but I just wanted to show you here that you can actually swap out black for navy if you prefer. If you find black a little bit harsh, I think navy does the same job. It's just as chic. Now, you can see here, um, in this outfit that I'm wearing on the beach um, that I'm wearing an old, it's quite an old striped navy and white jacket. Now this is really easy to wear, it's not too structured, it's more sort of knitted almost. It's good for casual wear as well. Um, now I'm also wearing it with a navy t-shirt. This one is from Karen Millen, it's organic and cotton and very soft. So as you can see I've created a much more casual look um, with this and I've added sneakers rather than shoes or loafers or so on. Um, this was taken near our house on a lovely walk along the beach last week um, but it just shows how versatile black and white can be. You can swap it out into navy and white and it can take you anywhere. Oh, and don't forget a fabulous pair of black oversized sunglasses. It adds mystique, it adds uh, incredible chicness and it hides tired eyes. So there you have my six piece capsule collection in chic black and white. Now you may well have at least some of these items already in your wardrobes at home. It's just a case of repurposing them and wearing them slightly differently. And don't forget all the links to the items that I've shown and the items that I'm wearing are in the video description underneath the video when you scroll down for you to browse or buy. So I hope you've really enjoyed this video ladies. If you have, please give it a thumbs up. I hope you have an amazing day. Lots of love and I'll see you really soon. Bye. Bye.